Declutter any shoes that are too old and don't fit. Set a goal for the amount of items that you want to declutter. It's always nice to have goals. Have a designated spot for things like your keys or your mail, so you are never looking for them. Well, one could hope, unless you have ADHD. <laughs> Start by identifying the things that are the most important to you. Focus on keeping only those things that matter or things that you use. Take before photos. You will thank yourself in the end. Get a label maker and use it to label all of the things that you have organized. Really, what's sexier than a label maker? Nothing. Use a dish rack to keep dishes from cluttering up the sink. Load your dishwasher as soon as you can. This helps you keep your kitchen clean and without a bunch of stuff sitting around making it look cluttered all the time. And empty it ASAP as well so that you can load it right away. Create a maybe pile or box for items that you're not quite sure about and then go back to it later to decide if you actually want to declutter them. And you probably should. Use hooks to hang and organize things. Use clear storage containers to keep items visible, easy to find, but also tidier. Try the KonMari method and only use things that you love and that bring you joy. Memories. Donate items that are in good condition instead of throwing them away. But don't donate items that are in poor condition. Throw them away and recycle if at all possible. Keep your reusable bags organized and make sure you wash them every now and then. Keep items that you use all of the time in an easy to reach location. As a short person, I consider this a public service announcement. Use baskets sparingly and carefully. These can very easily become a clutter catcher where things go to die. Use a makeup organizer to keep your makeup from getting lost in your drawer. Go through your old makeup and make sure none of it's out of date. Ooh. You know it's written on the back, right? Right where it says 12 months. Use vertical storage to maximize space and keep things off the floor. Use under bed storage for things that you don't use very often, like Christmas wrapping paper. Use a caddy to organize your cleaning supplies. Use a closet organizer to maximize space in your closets. Only keep the clothes that you wear. And turn the hanger backwards to see if you wear it within the next year, month, or season. Keep a donation box in your garage or in your spare room so that you have a spot to put things and then make sure that you donate it on a frequent basis. Use a storage bench to keep items off of the floor and tucked away. Use a spice rack to keep your spices organized. Organize your jewelry. Use a tool organizer to keep your tools from getting lost in the drawer or the garage. I'm speaking wishfully here. Use a towel rack to keep your towels neat and organized. Use a hamper. Bonus points for a sorting hamper to organize your laundry. Organize your pans from large to small. I can't believe I have to tell some of you this. Use a minimalist color scheme in your home if you want to create a cohesive and calming environment. Storage shelves are very handy, just only keep the things that you need. Use the one in, one out rule. Every time you buy something new, find something to declutter. Organize your cutting boards standing on their sides. Here's a life tip. Keep a minimalist mindset when it comes to agreeing to do things. Remember, less is more. Jomo, not FOMO. Ask for help when you're decluttering. You probably didn't get in this mess by yourself. And if you did, ask for help anyway. Keep a running list of things you need to buy and stick to it when you go shopping. And don't go shopping hungry. Mm -mm. No. Really do some deep exploring with yourself that if you have a need to constantly acquire new things and learn to be content with what you truly have. Use these 3M things to organize brooms and mop handles. Cubbies can be helpful to organize family and kid things, but be careful, things can get lost in there. And get rid of anything you haven't used in the last year or in the season that it's designated for, like an ice cream maker or a popsicle maker. I'm getting rid of one of those. Be minimalist mindset when it comes to gift giving and receiving. I like to give food and experience gifts when at all possible. Prioritize functionality over aesthetics when you're deciding what to keep in your home. If it's too much to look at, it's too much to look at. Declutter any duplicates. How many spatulas do you need? Get rid of anything that is not bringing you joy or serving 
an actual purpose. Use a minimalist approach to social media and limit the amount of time you spend on it. You can do this through some of the iPhone settings and many apps to download to help you keep yourself under control. It's not easy. Use digital storage instead of physical storage for items such as documents and photos. I am a huge fan of scanning and you can do it on your phone. Only keep things that you really truly use. Use multi-purpose items that save space and don't keep or buy unitaskers. Practice mindfulness and be present in the moment instead of seeking material possessions to entertain yourself and to get that dopamine hit. Keep your most commonly used utensils in an accessible spot and keep your lesser used ones in a different spot if you have room. Learn to let go of sentimental items that are no longer serving a purpose and might even make you feel bad. Practice self-discipline and resist the urge to impulse buy. Store your storage containers with the lids on so you don't lose the lids. Use a minimalist approach to home organization and simplify your storage solutions. Simplify your daily routine and focus on the essentials and then just do the non-essentials later. Also, don't over schedule yourself. Learn to live with less and appreciate the things that you truly have. Life is not about things. Only keep the cookbooks that you use. And anytime you get a new one, consider the one in one out method there. Practice gratitude and appreciate what you have instead of always wanting to acquire more. Get rid of the just in case things. Those are things that you're keeping just in case. And guess what? You almost never use them. And always, I mean always celebrate your wins. For me, it will always be with tea. <laughs> Try to keep a minimalist approach to entertainment and focus on quality over quantity. We love to take the kids to mini golf. And remember, minimalism is a journey and not a destination, and it takes time to develop a minimalist mindset. Check out this video here all about how to start decluttering. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!